Hello, Taurus. Rambling Mike here. I'll play a little bit of tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Oh, Queen of Love jumped out right there. Queen of Love, this is my empath. This is my one with psychic abilities, right? The Queen of Love just showed up. Okay, Taurus, I like that energy for you, my friend. Tarot Love Team, Taurus is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. Thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Have my Taurus babies see and hear what they need out of these readings today. Let's take all these major... Wow, you got, you got cards showing up around here. This is the hermit. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is the hermit's Virgo energy. I don't know. She's looking at a new world. Let's see what's going on around. That's quiet time with source. Quiet time with source. Uh, empath. Let's tell Taurus what they need to know most for their highest good. Thank you, love team. Cannot do this without you. All right, Taurus. As you can see, I'm playing with a very beautiful gin drawn. Uh, relationship spreads. They can talk about homework, family, all that kind of fun stuff. Also going to clarify it with the uh, Golden Art Nebu, some major arcanas. Taurus, I always want to say a big thank you to you. If you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form. So very kind of you. Appreciate them all, large or small. My Taurus babies. All right, let's start with some love cards. See what they want to talk about. With Taurus, Taurus, here we go, Taurus, babies. Wow, you deserve love. That's a great card, you know. Um, just, just knowing that, right? Just knowing, you know, it's a card of self-worth. Just knowing how amazing that you are. Knowing that you deserve, you know, that, that well, that agape love showed up. You know, with the queen of... Queen of Love card, just knowing that you deserve that kind of love in your life, you know, set that, you know, let the past be in the past. Looks like she may be shooting an arrow in a new direction. Says you are lovable. You are worthy of love. Oh, look where she's shooting an arrow to, Taurus. A safe place to love. Well, that's, you know, that's just a revelation, you know. It's that, it's that inward feeling, that inward knowing. How many of you know that it's all an inside job? I like this. You could be, you could, oh my goodness, look at your cards. True love. That's what I'm talking about. High vibrational energy right there. Knowing that you deserve love. Knowing that you deserve a safe place to love. And knowing that you deserve what we would call true love. Oh, this is the romance of a lifetime. Well, where is your energy heading you to? Oh, well, we got heart-to-heart -heart conversations. That's nice. That's nice. There's some talking coming in here in the near future. Might be a single Taurus right here or somebody that just wants to move in a new direction. And we got to keep an open mind. Keep an open mind about you knowing that you deserve love. Huh? Can we and that you deserve a safe place to love, and that you deserve true love? Yeah, you deserve it. You deserve it. Worthy of it. Heart to heart conversations, and it does say keep an open mind because your soulmate may be different than your usual type. <laughs> look at this. Look at this right here. The, the old letting go card. The old letting go of maybe an old way of thinking. An old way of feeling. Oh my God, divine timing. Divine timing and letting go. This is the art of allowance right here. This is a love story unfolding for a Taurus. Okay, let's go. Let's play some tarot on it. We're going to start with the gin drawn right here. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Huh? Happy New Year. You deserve love. You deserve a safe place to love. You deserve true love. Then we got heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Yeah, look at this right here. This is Six of Swords. Now, Six of Swords, all the swords are about, you know, thinking. 
you know. And uh, this is about thinking about uh, moving in a new direction, changing the way you think, right? Traditionally, that's uh, that's the love boat right there. That's the love boat. And uh, that takes us over to Paradise Island. You got Paradise Island on here with my love cards, Taurus. Divine timing. How many of you know you are connected to your divine timing? The art of allowance is on here. I see a major change in some of my Taurus and the way they're thinking and feeling about themselves. Perfect, darling. Let's attract some love. Here we go. Give me a card on this. The moon. See, that is that... Uh, uh, well, it's a major arcana, and um, it's that smoky trail, it's that smoky way of thinking, you know. I see a breakthrough right here. Breakthrough in the way you're thinking, feeling about yourself. Oh, look, 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 look. The lover just showed up around here. The Knight of Cups. This is on a safe place to love. So I don't know if you've met somebody yet or not, but there's a real breakthrough in the way you're thinking and feeling about love. And that's going to manifest in the 3D. That is absolutely going to manifest in the 3D. See, there's an ace. An ace of wands, which is a potentially a passionate new beginning from a lover has showed up on your tarot spread right here. After, you know, Six of Swords blasts its way through that old moon card, that moon energy right there. Um, you know, it's a major arcana. It is divine feminine energy. It's uh, women's intuition. Any book you read will say that. Um, it seems like you're having real breakthrough about knowing that you deserve love. Very powerful. And then this is showing up immediately after that. An Ace of Wands and a Knight of Cups. Wow, hi, Taurus. Here's my cup. We do have true love on here. We do have true love on here. This is nice, man. Give me some more, Taurus. Give me some on this true love card, huh? What we got on that? Oh, damn, damn, Taurus. Oh, you look amazing. You look amazing, Taurus. Oh, I love your world right there. You're manifesting. Oh, damn. Ten pins that came out on the true love card. Taurus, there's a lover coming in here for you. It says you're manifesting it because you're thinking and feeling differently about yourself. Oh, baby, let's go. Let's go. Give me something on this, huh? Give me, and you know when I said you're thinking and feeling differently about yourself, well, I'm looking at six cups right there, which is which is a sweet energy of um, sweet thoughts. This could be a past life lover coming in here too with six cups. Oh my goodness, Taurus. Why don't you keep on loving on yourself right now? That's the ten cups right there. Is this you? Thinking differently, feeling differently these days. You're attracting love. You are attracting love. We got 10 pins and 10 cups. See, look. There's three wands. There's the ship right there. Now, I don't know if you're already manifested this. You may be with the lover right there. Hi, Taurus. Here's my cup and an ace of wands. Uh, but uh, I, this is definitely uh, manifesting a whole new world. For many, many, many of my Taurus. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. This all looks like a new energy to me. But you know what's going on. And to keep an open mind because your soulmate may differ from your usual types. I would say that's because you're differing. How many of you know it's all a mirror? Huh? You can't shout at that mirror and scream at it to smile. You have to smile in the mirror first, and then it's going to show you. Look what came out right here. Three pins. This is a card of collaboration. A card of collaboration on keep an open mind. <laughs> Very nice, Taurus. All right, all right. Have you met somebody new? Definitely changing the way that you think and feel about yourself. It's absolutely gorgeous. Divine timing. 
I like to say that, you know, divine timing starts now because that's all we have is now. Let the past be in the past, be in the now, be in the moment. Oh, look at all this, man. Ten pins, ten cups. There's a six cups on here, so maybe somebody that you know, but it's a sweet, sweet energy. All right, so I'm going to pull out some cards here. Now that you've met somebody new or you are about to. Or, you know, rekindling right here. Six Cups is on the board. So, let's pull out some cards uh, on this right here. And see what this new energy. This is a new energy for Taurus. Let's see what they're thinking and feeling about Taurus. Wow. <laughs> that one stopped me. That's four wands. That's about dancing around the maples. Oh, three wands to four wands. Well, your ships are coming in here. If this is resonating with you. If you change the way you think and you feel. Hmm. You may be getting in the boat. You may be leaving something behind. Yeah, an old way of stinking thinking. Let's go, Taurus. This new energy. What are they thinking and feeling about Taurus? Taurus, Taurus got three wands. They showed us four wands, baby. Taurus, Taurus. What are they thinking and feeling about Taurus? Oh, maybe somebody that you do know for some of you. Five pins. Five pins. These are soulmate energy right here. Six cups, five pins for some of you. Real breakthrough right here. Real breakthrough. Five pins are my two soulmates that can play with each other. Lifetime after lifetime. When one feels left out in the cold, the other one feels it too. I love all this energy right here. Taurus have a major breakthrough. Oh. Again, I mean, some of you uh, may be letting a situation go. This keeps showing up in my cards. Right here with six swords. It's a face card. You know, king of cups. Eight cups is about letting the situation go. Eight swords is a jailbreak of the mind. So we got a jailbreak going on over here. Definitely, definitely uh, letting a situation go, possibly more internal work. <laughs> and then, you know, there's inspired action with that too, right? Wow, the lovers. Now that is about a choice between lovers. I love this new energy over here, man. Man, you pulled uh, the lovers, uh, four wands, three wands, ten cups, ten pins on this new energy. Ace of wands, right? Definitely a jailbreak of the mind. Walking away. There's a new way of thinking and feeling. Wow, look at this after all that. Taurus. Justice. Two major arcanas in a row. About the balancing of karma. Wow, look at your cards. Six wands. That's victory after the battle. It's receiving the attention that you're worthy of. It's the uh, it's uh, Jupiter and Leo. Oh my God, to the sun. Look at this huge transformation. Your cards are really, really powerful. You got a you got a you got a wonderful love story unfolding here. You see. <laughs> that's nine cups, baby. <laughs> that's nine cups, right? That's about being happy. A huge transformational energy on this. Death and rebirth. Breaking chains that bind. Doing an inside job right here. Letting the past go. There is a king right there, king of cups. Definitely moving towards a more beautiful, beautiful energy. We got the lovers, justice, six of wands to the sun. Three pinnacles on keep an open mind. Your soulmate may be different than your usual type. And uh, make a wish about being happy. Oh, I love your spread, man. This is breakthrough. <laughs> this is definitely breakthrough. And it's got a lover involved in it, too. For my Taurus babies. All right, give me a major on my Taurus read, please. Majors on my Taurus read. Breakthrough. The sun. 
Let the sun shine. Let the sun shine. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. It's the magician. This is my deliberate creator. That's what I've been reading in this whole spread right here, right? It is also an as above, so below energy. We do got four wands, three wands, true love. You've seen all the cards right here. Nine of cups, the three cups, the sun, which is a strong union right here. And the deliberate creator, right? I see this as, uh, well, pure positive thoughts about you. And uh, pure positive words about you and your future. And inspired action. It's a magician, you know. He's got the seraphim, cherubim wings up right there. The wheel in the wheel, the eyes of the divine. On my deliberate creator, the number one. Yeah, Taurus. Look at these cards. That's the Hierophant, darling. Beautiful, beautiful energy for many, many, many of my Taurus. Had some kind of breakthrough. Mm, didn't you? Loving on yourself. Seems to be showing up in my tarot spread. Taurus, if you made it to this part of the vid, thanks for your view. Appreciate you so very much. Uh, my new Taurus friends, hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, smash that subscription button for me, would you? Ring my old bell right there. Hit that old I like mic button if you would, my Taurus babies. And, uh, well, there's some vids right up here. YouTube says you may like them. I invite you to stick around and play a little bit more tarot if you would like. But anyway, may all your dreams come true. What a gorgeous spread for you. What a major breakthrough. Major breakthrough for many, many, many of my Taurus. I'll talk to you in a few short days, Taurus. Love and light. Bye for now. Wow. Wow. Beautiful, man.